You can tell a lot about a person just by looking at their shoes. And I can tell that our next Global Citizen Prize recipient, whether she's wearing high heels or boots or high-heeled boots, gets up every day and walks with purpose. Deja Fox has already gone viral for standing up to a state senator, founded a reproductive health access project, and made history as the youngest presidential campaign staffers all before she turned 21. And if you ask her, she will tell you she is just warming up. <laughs> Through her digital community of women and girls, aptly titled Gen Z Girl Gang, she is creating change. She's a thought leader, social justice advocate, and she's redefining what activism look like. It is one social media post at a time. Take a look. My name is Deja Fox. I'm the founder of Gen Z Girl Gang, and we're committed to redefining sisterhood in a digital age. I grew up uh, in a neighborhood where there just simply wasn't enough in government housing and on food stamps. I was sitting in a sex education classroom that didn't mention consent and that was medically inaccurate, knowing that I didn't have a parent at home to fill in the gaps for me. That was the moment, a spark for me and my activism was sitting in that classroom and saying, this isn't right, um, I deserve better than this. Me and my peers, we organized, we showed up and we won. Um, and I never looked back. I see sex education as connected to educational equity. I see birth control access as connected to my ability to go to college and so much more. I think there's a real moment right now to see young people take up legitimate power. Young girls are the most brilliant strategists. Every day we are building new strategies about how we use social media as a community building tool. Every day I get to live in the most beautiful dream life. <laughs> and it is in every way because that 16 year old version of myself who was experiencing homelessness not only worked hard to make it happen, but could dream big enough. I know that there are so many versions of my younger self out there right now, whose futures deserve to be protected. We are honored to present the 2023 Citizen Award to Deja Fox. Hi everyone, and thank you to Global Citizen for this honor. When I started to think about what I might say to you all today, a question kept buzzing around in my head. And maybe it's because I'm graduating from college in a few weeks, but <laughs> it's one we're all familiar with. It's the question we've been getting since we were learning our alphabet that morphed from acute, what do you want to be when you grow up? into an infamous, anxiety-inducing, what's next? Yikes. <laughs> and the truth is, there's nothing I would rather be in this life than a good role model. And as I reflect on what that means, what that looks like, I think of a moment from when I was 15 when a local organizer gave me a call and asked me to join her for an action to fight for better sex education in my Arizona school district, to which I replied, no, I couldn't make it. Well, why not? My family didn't have a car. She said just five words to me, which changed my life. I'll give you a ride. That one moment, that one interaction, those five words encapsulate better than any title ever could, what I want to be. 
the kind of person that sees potential in someone and pushes them to see it too. The kind of leader that meets people where they are and removes barriers so that the people, the girls most affected, can lead. It's what all of us, no matter the career we've undertaken, whether we're just starting out or already at the top, on stage or behind the scenes, making a lot or a little, can strive to embody. It is a commitment to each other and the people that come after us. Because I know this to be true, that when we invest in people, we never lose. We can't keep telling young people how inspired we are by them. We must empower young people, not just as spokespeople or implementers, but as true stakeholders with decision-making power. I look forward to doing just that alongside Global Citizen, UNFPA, and Gen Z Girl Gang, and each of you. Because if there's one thing I know for sure, is that there's a version of my younger self out there right now, listening, watching, whose future and bodily autonomy deserves to be protected today. Thank you. <laughs>